everyone. Welcome back to my channel. Brenda Summers, Independent Sensi Consultant. Happy Holiday Bricks! Yay! I finally received mine. Um, if you're new to my channel and you're wondering, what the heck is she talking about? A brick? A brick is a pound of wax. So it's the size of my head. This is a brick. And this is a normal Sensi bar. So you're getting five, of the, five and a half of these and one of these. So it's well worth the money. Um, $32 Canadian for one, um, two for 52 or 54 when they go on sale. And since they did something, um, something different this year, they decided to release the holiday bricks a little bit earlier. Us as consultants got to purchase them on September 27th. And then, um, we ordered them and then they sent them to us in time to sample it out to our customers and to try it and to see how we like it and to give our honest reviews of it. Me, I kind of waited a week later until I saw other people um, hauling them on their channels. I was just, uh, I don't know. I was kind of thinking, do I really want to order these bricks? Some of the scent notes in them, didn't sound too, too, oh, they sounded awful, like musk, like I'm scared that it's going to smell like dirty socks or something, um, spiced eggnog, I don't really like that one, um, orange palmander, eh, and then the poinsettia, I thought it was a plant, I'm thinking, oh, that's going to be gross, and then what other one am I missing here, um, oh, the maple one. Oh, if you're wondering, this is Shadow. This Shadow is my sidekick. He's my three-year-old Cocker Spaniel, English Cocker mix. He is just always curious and wanting to say hi. So Shadow says hi. Shadow, say hi. Yep. Look at Say hi. So he'll be sniffing around. He's always sniffing around and seeing what I'm doing, and he always likes to um, be in the background, so don't mind him. So, um, so, hi Shadow, hi. Anyways, back to my bricks. So I was undecided, and then I kept watching videos, and I'm thinking, am I missing out? So I felt like I was missing out, and knowing me, this would be the greatest holiday bundle, <laughs> five pack bundle going, and I missed out. So I've done that before. But anyways, I don't think I'm going to like all five, to be honest, but I will give you my honest um, reviews. It'll be cold sniffs. Um, I just received them yesterday, and I was good about not sniffing them. So I want to give you my honest opinion, my honest reaction, my opinion and perception of the um, fragrances are my own. Everybody has different scent perceptions and different opinions. So until you actually try the wax, you don't really know for sure. But anyways, without further ado, I will go down the list and then I'll read the notes and then I'll sniff the wax. I'm excited to sniff the wax today. So I hope everyone's doing well. It's kind of a gloomy, rainy day out. So yay. What what a time to do a holiday <laughs> um, haul. But anyways, Sensi Holiday Bricks of 2021. We had Fluffy Fleece, Pink Poinsettia, Spiced Eggnog, Sweet Orange Palmander, Vanilla Cinnamon Maple. So yum, yum, yum. That <laughs> sounds really good. So the first one I'll go over is Fluffy Fleece, Black Currant and Cozy Musk bundle up beneath a blanket of heliotrope. And heliotrope is um, florals. I'm not sure what type of florals, but it's just a big fancy word for floral. Um, so the thing about this bar is it's the cozy musk that's really making me worried about if I'm going to like it or not. But this is really, really nice packaging. Fluffy fleece. I really like their packaging. They always do a great job in little little sweaters and then it's this nice 
my baby blue is what I would say. And you can tell that this is the new packaging because we have all the scent fragrances on the back. So that's pretty cool. So let me sniff this. Ooh, this is exciting. Okay, that's what that looks like. Actually, it's a lot better than what I thought it would. It's a lemon kind of scent, actually. Wow, it's very pretty. I would say pretty powdery. I would say it was like perfumey. Very, very nice. I'm really shocked. I really, really like it. Um, it's light to medium on cold. I don't know if I'm going to be able to get it out. I always crack my bars. Oh, okay, cool. That's what it looks like on the bottom. Oh, this is even better on this side. Medium to strong. Oh, I don't know how else to describe it. Not necessarily getting the black currant. Um, the musk must be making it smell like the linen. But, oh, wow, I'm shocked. Really, really shocked with this. So it's not overly floral, so you don't have to really worry about the florals. Um, a lot of people don't like florals. I'm a floral person. This is like a cross between kind of jammy time and Luna and lemon. So that's what I describe it as. And I don't really like Luna. I don't really like jammy time. But this one is very, very pretty. It's powdery. It's perfumey. Yeah, I think I'm going to love this. So, wow, really surprised. And it's not musky. It's like a sweet kind of musk if it comes out. So, like I said, I don't really smell the black currant, but it makes it sweet. Sweet, powdery, good. Um, it's a, I want to cozy up to this with a warm blanket. So this is really, really nice. So I could recommend it on cold. Um, I'm really surprised. So that's fluffy fleece. Yay! <laughs> I don't feel so bad now. And the next one, when I heard the name, I thought, oh my goodness, pink poinsettia. Poinsettias really don't smell very good. They're pretty when they're bright red and they're pretty when they're flowering, um, but they stink. So I'm thinking, what is Cincy thinking? So this is the packaging. It has poinsettias all over it. And then here's the wax. And then let me read the scent notes. Crisp plum and blackberry celebrate the season with a burst of pomegranate. So that is interesting. And this is what the wax looks like inside. Oh, you're getting that pomegranate. You're getting a fruity, fruity punch is what I'm getting, to be honest. It smells a lot like cherry limeade. Um, what other fruit punchy ones have we had? But then on this side, I don't know what I'm getting. I'm getting like greenery, like a, a bitter greenery kind of scent. It might be the cranberries coming out. It might be, um, oh, there's no cranberries. The pomegranate coming out. The blackberry or the plum. Okay, I'm getting bitter notes on this side, but sweet on this side. So, yeah, I'm getting like a bitter floral scent. Um, green grass, cut, fresh cut grass that we had or whatever the one that was sweeter than this um kind of like tomato vine kind of reminds me of that kind of kind of smell ew okay not my favorite to be honest um bitter on the the underside and sweet and fruity on this side so i'm not sure sorry i can't really recommend this one um, if you like all those scents, my nose is just not appreciating these scents. The pomegranate must be making it bitter for me. It can make things bitter, just like cranberry. Um, I really didn't get the plum. 
and a burr. So I don't know. My nose has gone rogue. So that's what I'm smelling with this brick. Hopefully I'm warm. It, it actually is better, but this is very bitter. So I would not recommend buying another one. I'm not going to be buying another one. What am I saying? You haven't even had a chance to buy them. Um, I can't really recommend this one, to be honest. But like I said, try it if you like those um, kind of scent notes. It's just not for me. Fluffy fleece all the way so far. So uh, one for one. The next one has me really, really scared. Spiced eggnog. Now, this is a pretty package. I love what Sensi does with the packaging. We always hit it out of the ballpark. It's kind of like a cream colored wax. And the scent notes are ground clove simmers in a festive blend of buttered rum and creamy eggnog. Well, I'm hoping the buttered rum comes out more so than the eggnog part of it. So we will see. Okay, I'm trying to get these open. And that's what that looks like. Okay, not too bad actually. It's a lot better than what I thought it would be. I'm getting the creaminess, but I'm not getting the eggnoggy yet. I'm kind of getting some rum. I'm getting the cloves. Um, I'm surprised with this one, actually, to be honest. Very, very surprised. Um, this one doesn't want to come out for me. Burn. Okay, here we go. Oh, wow. You know the um, rum lifesavers that we used to be able to buy? I don't know if you can buy them or not. That's what this smells like to me. Ooh. Very, very strong on this side. Very clovey. Um, very creamy. Very rummy. <laughs> or rum. <laughs> um, wow. 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 So I actually kind of like this. I kind of don't. Ew. It's... I keep going to it. But it's very, very clove enhanced. So if you don't like cloves, you're not going to like this. Um, no cinnamon in it. So, um, so you don't have to worry about that. You're getting the rum. And it's, it's kind of creamy. I wouldn't say buttery, but creamy. And... Um, the egg nut part, I'm not really getting that. So there you have it. So that's a lot better than what I thought. So I could recommend this one without fail. If you like those scent notes, it's not what I thought it would be actually. It's a little bit better. So I'm glad that I actually um, did get a chance to smell it. And I'm going to warm it and see how I like it. So two for three isn't bad out of a five bar pack so far. The next one we're gonna um, be sniffing through is Sweet Orange Pomander, and it's this pretty, pretty packaging. And then it's like an orangey kind of color. And here's what the scent notes are. Sparkling clove and cinnamon stick adorn sweet orange in a dazzling display. I've heard Mixed reviews on this. It's supposed to be heavily cinnamon scented, so we will see. Oh, reminds me of Welcome Home. Cinnamon Bear. Like, there's no orange in this. Like, why when, Why would they call this orange pomander? Like, to me, it's it's Cinnamon Bear and Welcome Home. Like, and Christmas Cottage. All in one. Um, that's what I get from this. I'm not mad about it. I like those scents. But as far as orange goes, no. Um, it would have been neat if the orange actually came through. <sighs> I'm the only one that always seems to have problems with their big bars. Other people just pop them out. I can't even do that without breaking them sometimes. I guess you have to finesse them. Okay, then I go them. Okay, here we go. Yeah, that's all I get. 
the cinnamon. Wow, no orange at all. I get the clove, I get the cinnamon. I wish there was orange actually. But yeah, straight up cinnamon bear and straight up welcome home and straight up Christmas cottage all in one. That's what I think of this bar. So I like it. I'm just disappointed that it doesn't have orange in it. So um, I love those three scents that I just said. So I'm not mad about this one. It's just it let me down on the orange part. So maybe we can mix it with Sunkissed Orange, Oodles of Orange, um, um, Rise and Shine is another orange one. I don't know, but I would leave it as is, to be honest. Who knows, the orange may come out on warming. But to me, this is just straight up Welcome Home, Christmas Cottage, and um, Cinnamon Bear packaged in a different package. Sweet orange pomander. That's my thoughts on it. Not mad about it, but if you don't like all those scent notes, you're not going to love it, especially the cinnamon. Cinnamon just comes right through. So, so three for four so far. So I'm not too bad. Just the pink poinsettia can't do it. Sorry. Um, vanilla cinnamon maple. Yeah, this sounds yummy. It sounds like you could eat it actually. Look at the packaging. Isn't that nice packaging? And then kind of a burnt orangey color again. Um, cinnamon stick warms buttery maple atop a mountain of whipped sweet cream. I hope it tastes, er, tastes. I hope it smells like fudge actually. That's what I think of it when I, and that's what that looks like. Okay. Kind of a weird kind of smell coming through. Okay. Not really getting much. I'm getting um, some of the cinnamon sticks, but I'm not really getting the maple. That's kind of disappointing. Ooh. I'm not getting the maple. That's too bad. This one sounded yummy too. Um, not even getting the sweet. All that's coming through is the cinnamon. So another cinnamon, straight cinnamon. That's what my nose picks up. Um, too bad. A lot of people are smelling like the maple and ooey gooey sweetness and I'm thinking oh it smells like maple fudge because of the creamy buttery note in it I'm getting cinnamon I'm disappointed my nose has let me down today <laughs> so to me this is just straight up cinnamon I'm mad at it it's just nothing special for me so so much for the maple for me um I don't even get the vanilla be honest vanilla cinnamon maple my nose has let me down but a lot of people think this is yummy I thought it would be yummy but I'm disappointed so three out of five bricks isn't bad for me I'm really really happy with fluffy fleece that would be my number one pick that is so good so nice um, on a cozy if you want to uh, cuddle up with a cozy blanket on a nice cold winter day and have that going that would be perfect for your bedroom or in front of a fireplace perfect 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 um even in a bathroom and then this one reminds me of a bakery scent to me maybe if i put these together the maple might come out with the eggnog but this is actually nice I get the rum, a really strong rum, like buttered rum, um, Lifesavers is what this reminds me of. So this would be my second pick. My third pick would be Sweet Orange Pomander, just because it's heavily scented with um, cinnamon, and it reminds me of those three bars. And then Vanilla Cinnamon Maple would be fourth, and then Pink Poinsettia. So there you have it. That's 
yep, for the holiday bricks. Let me know once you do decide on what scent or scents, or even if you're getting bricks this year, you're going to go with and tell me what you think on, on cold. And if you warm them, what you think on warm. But um, yeah, not too, too bad for holiday bricks. Um, we can't love everything. I wish I could. Um, those were my honest um, cold sniffs. So there you have it. So there's holiday bricks. All five of them. One, two, let's see if I can do it. Three, I probably will drop these. I can never, I can never do anything. I have like short arms and small hands. Four, five, there you go. <laughs> I hope this helped you make a, a little bit of an informed decision. Like I said, bye-bye, Brooke. <laughs> um, I hope you're having a great day. I hope you have a great weekend. Thanks for stopping in and sharing a little bit of time with me. I enjoy um, hearing from you guys. I love um, replying back to you. So until next time, catch on the flip side. Happy melting and happy holiday bricks. Bye now.